Welcome back. You're still watching Closing Bell, West Africa. A CNBC Africa's Wale Famorewa spoke to Sergi Tulakima, Chief Executive Officer at Gabon Oil Company at a just-concluded New York Forum on Africa in Gabon, and they reviewed the country's oil and gas sector. Take a look. The Gabon Oil Company is uh, a new company that was created in 2011, and you have to compare that to the majors who have actually been around, I mean, several years. Uh, as far as the uh, I mean, oil and gas business is here is concerned in Gabon, I mean, a decline in production is something that's inevitable in, in an oil field. I mean, oil fields obviously deplete, and when they deplete, the production goes down. So there is nothing new or special about that. But what we need to do is to work on projects that slows down that decline, and that's number one. And number two, we need to invest in exploration as well. And exploration being a long-term thing, as you know. It takes several years to bring those fields on stream. So going back to you specifically to your question of 250,000, so obviously, I mean, if in 2013 we're doing 210, and if we have projects from all these other companies that operate here on existing fields, I mean, that can actually contribute to slowing down the decline. I mean, I don't know the specific uh, of the individual companies, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, knowing the reputation of these companies and their standards, which are very, very high, uh, trying to improve the production from existing fields is something we do day to day. It is our bread and butter. Uh, as far as Gabon Oil Company is concerned, I mean, yes, we will, I mean, uh, although we are still a new company, a young company, we will contribute to, to this. We are in the process right now on reactivating the production on the railway field, uh, which was uh, abandoned back in 2009. And for Gabon, with, again, the declining production, every barrel counts. So if we can replicate this kind of example, obviously we will also continue to contribute to this, decline, uh, this uh, slowdown in the decline of production. Right, but let's talk about your capacity. I mean, I know you are government-owned 100%. But then, in terms of raising the capital to explore some of these fields, what's your strategy? Okay. Uh, well, let's start uh, on the specific, okay? So the Rembo fields, for instance, that we are in the process of restarting. I mean, we had to go to the banks, and uh, we are working with a local bank in Gabon, and we were able to secure the funds to invest into the restart of this activity. So I think that's actually answer your question. But obviously, I mean, ultimately, we want to be able to raise capital on the international market, but we need to prove ourselves first here locally. And again, with an asset like this coming on stream, bringing production, and production to us is cash flow. With that cash flow, uh, it can actually be used as collateral when you go into the international market to try to raise even more capitals. Now, for exploration, it is different, okay? Uh, in the oil and gas business, there is something we call farming. And we, I mean, uh, can actually negotiate, have direct negotiation with the government to acquire some blocks. And following the acquisition of those blocks, we can then approach another partner to farm it into the block in exchange of financing the exploration, for instance. There are those mechanisms that can also help. Right. I was, um, you've touched a point that I think is related to where I'm going next, which is joint ventures and using that as a long-term strategy to, to maybe deal with some of your, um, your challenges in raising capital, uh, et cetera, in terms of capacity on the technical side, on the financial side. So can you just talk to, speak to the, the use of joint venture agreements um, and such, such partnerships to grow your business in Gabon? Uh, we, I mean, we are not going to rely only on joint venture to grow the business. Huh? And before I answer your question, let me share with you our four axes for growth. And our growth actually is will based on acquisition of assets. It's based on going after marginal fields. So these are fields, the big boys have said they are non-economic, and we need to make them economic because every barrel here in Gabon count. Number three, expiring permits. And this is very, very important because it, invests, it, it involves zero investments. I mean, if a permit is going to expire, we as a national company can approach the state and say, well, we have the capabilities of operating these fields. And to us, it's actually zero investment to, to acquire this permit. And number four is exploration. 
So now coming back to the uh, to the question you asked, I mean, I, I think it's probably more to do as partnerships. Because to us, we, we view JVs as uh, getting into a business that may not be our core business. Like I was just talking about uh, transport, offshore transport, and services in the oil field. This is not our core business. Our core business is actually exploration and production. In those instances, we will probably select the JV model. But when it comes to uh, production sharing contracts, we, of course, I mean, if we think we can find a partner which aligns itself with our objectives and with our strategy, we will go for that because it helps to, to actually spread the, uh, the risk, especially when it comes to, to exploration.